Okay, so uh, today's going to be really fast, um, but today we're looking at the latest announcement from Google on the expansion of Google Tables inside of Google Sheets. And it seems like we're going through this early rapid fire enhancement or release uh, series where Google is really trying to bring uh, tables to prominence within Google Sheets, which I think is really exciting because um, the more standardization and the easier that we can make information standardized for all of the different use cases in Google Sheets that aren't like complex financial, you know, heavy formula based uh, use cases, I think is really great because it makes it easier to create charts and dashboards and different ways of using the information. So let's get to it. Today is really just over giving a quick overview of a whole slew of library uh, pre-built templates that you can now get to in Google Sheets. And it's super easy to get to. So wherever you want to insert the table, uh, you simply go to type in the at symbol, which is how you trigger the smart chips, and you want to start just typing tables. When you type in tables, it shows up there as an option. And what you'll see is, in fact, I will move uh, myself up here. Um, what you see is a breakout window that has all of the different uh, categories available. So there's featured ones. Um, we'll just take a look at some of them. So event tasks, task status, owner stage, project tasks, um, content tracking for, I guess, social or other releases, product prioritization, recruitment application analysis, event planning, event tasks, event schedule. Oh, that's interesting. Um, guest list, vendor list, uh, event budget, customer relations, customer contacts. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, customer opportunities, project management. We've got project tasks, project resources. Uh, that's super helpful too. And office hours. That one's cool. Travel planner, itinerary budget, transportation, uh, product prioritization, product team list, um, inventory, inventory vendor list, purchase orders, sales orders. So you can see these are some really um, kind of generic, basic uh, templates that can be applied, but each one of them, in fact, let's just go to an inventory tracker. Um, so I've applied that one. And similar to when you convert information over to a table, there's kind of a two tiered uh, layer here where the top one is where you can rename the table, you can revert to unformatted data, or you can delete it. And then again, each table column has now a standard format, right? So you can edit the column type, you can sort the column, you can filter, you can group by column. That one's super helpful, especially if you got like high, medium, and low priority and you want to see all those things grouped by by that. Um, and then, yeah, that applies to each of the different column types. You can also um, go ahead and uh, customize or edit these. So if we have the drop downs and I click on Let's go right here to the top one. You'll see that they've got category one, two, three, and four. If I click on that, I can click into the edit icon. And here I can add another item. I can change colors. I can customize it to whatever our team's workflows and needs are. So I think that the tables thing is really interesting. I think it's really cool to be able to give the standardization and formatting. I think it's going to make it a lot easier to have like a leaping off point of being able to create some interesting custom workflows. So um, yeah, happy tabling.